Sarvana Nanadurai, what you have to answer is the comment made by Stalin as leader of the opposition, April 2016, where he's accusing Balaji of looting, corruption, abduction, land grabbing, and promised voters that he would jail them. So the ED can actually turn around and say, I'm doing exactly what Stalin said he would have done. He didn't do his job. He didn't do what he said he would. Yes, yes, that was in 2016. And now we are in 2023. Can I also remind, has the BJP answered about Hemant Bishwas? What did Mr. Amit Shah say? He said, the most corrupt man in Assam is Hemant Bishwas. But what is he doing now? And what about Subendu Adhikari and so many other people against whom the Congress, the BJP said they will take action. When they, were, they joined BJP, they have become saints. This is what the BJP is practicing. No, so th that's do funny that you're saying it. They, so you're saying you're doing exactly the same thing. No, They're guilty me, of me, hypocrisy me, and me, so are you. Let me come to that, let me come to that, Rahul. See, as the BJP got the moral authority to speak about this, what have you done? See, the question is this. This incident happened in 2015 and they have the courage it, to come and to barge into the uh, uh, state uh, secretariat and raid his re official office. He become a minister in 2021. He, he thinks, will any sane man, will any normal investigating officer with little common sense think that uh, Mr. Sandil Balaji is going to hold the documents of the crime which was committed in 2015 in his office in 2021. So why does the ED do that? They think they can intimidate us. The BJP, the Prime Minister, Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah is afraid of our leader because he is bringing a grand alliance. He is the only leader who is offering an ideological opposition to the BJP and the RSS. That is why they think Mr. Sandil Balaji is the weak link. Let us go to him. If this has been the ADMK, they would have fallen flat at the feet of uh, Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah. But we are okay. the ADMK. Anil Anjani, this is political back. intimidation, the timing of the arrest, the nature of this action. This could have been done earlier. It's being done at a time where you've got leaders talking about how the next uh, prime minister or a future prime minister could come from Tamil Nadu, how you're hoping to win 25 seats out of Tamil Nadu, that you're trying to use the investigative agencies. You found a weak link to try and destabilize or put pressure on the ruling DMK government. Respond to that, Anil Antony. These are all misconceptions, like my panelists just brought out. First of all, I would... He mentioned what moral ground does the BJP has. The BJP has every moral ground to ensure that corruption doesn't happen in this country. No, but what about all the charges that were made uh, by leaders who later joined the Bharatiya Janata Party, including the likes of Hemanta Biswa Sarma, including the li la likes of uh, Suvendu Adhikari, including the likes of... Uh, Conrad Sangma in the recently concluded elections was described as the most corrupt party, the most corrupt leader. The day voting got over, you wanted to ally with them. So why should I take any of what you're saying seriously? See, let us not deviate from the topic and come to this no, but particular... Why not? It's part of the same rubric. It's part of the same theme. When they're in opposition, you call them corrupt and when they join you, suddenly uh, they've been washed with Ganga Jal. See, these are all misconceptions and narrations that are created by the opposition to ensure that... The no, I'm not talking about opposition that. narratives. I'm talking about what BJP leaders said in the campaign against Conrad Sangma, calling his government the most corrupt government of India. The day voting got over, you went out and allied with him. If Senthil Balaji was in the, DM, with, in the AI, DMK or the BJP, would the agencies be still as interested in him? See, Mr. Conrad Sangma doesn't have any cases, nor does he have any allegations against him which is under Your investigation. leaders called him corrupt. Uh, Your leaders called him the most corrupt like government him. in all of India. And then you went and allied with him. There are no, like I mentioned, there are no investigations going on against Mr. Sangma. At the same time, in Tamil Nadu, this particular minister, it was Mr. Stalin himself who actually made it into a huge election issue in 2016. And there are many, many, and even in 2018, the first case which was filed against him at the special court was actually initiated by the DMK government whose police department is under the DMK. Okay. It happened in 2018. Rahul. And then we have this bizarre scenario where, let's say, first of all, let us go a little back so that everybody, even the viewers, understand the backstory. Where in 2014, 
the central Bala, central balaji he was in the aidmk he was a part of the aidmk okay i'm he out of time in the aidmk and as his hand i'm going to give you 20 seconds to make a final yes. comment go for yes. it quickly yes. yes 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 rahul if you look at the way the ed is going behind mr sendil balaji they are going berserk they don't have any uh, rule they don't, they don't follow any rule he is advised to have surgical intervention for three blockages of the heart the ed says we want to no, have police custody don't they have any humanity are we not ruled by a democratic okay. principles is this so how the, you torture